Good evening everyone, this is the MG4 standard 51 kilowatt hour battery, 125 kilowatt, 170 horsepower rear wheel drive and today we're gonna do a 130 kilometers an hour range test on the highway. I am at the highway charging at Ionity at 85% with 21 kilowatt, but I have the heat on. Um, I will uh, go through a bit, a bit of quirks that the car has so you know uh, stuff that can happen if you want to use this car. I already did a little uh, endurance test on the highway, drove 450 kilometer if you want to watch that video and uh, the car drives really well, it just has a few weird things and because it's the standard version it's losing a lot of options. Um, but we're gonna talk about this all while we drive. I'm gonna charge to around 90% and then drive because 90 to 100% will take extremely long. Uh, and then maybe if I have time, I will do a charging test afterwards and do 110 kilometers an hour test as well. We'll see how far I can go. Uh, I'm very interested. It's night, uh, it's cold, I think minus one degrees or so. Uh, I've, sh I've showed you the car in a different video already. This is now driving test. I'm on my way, I'm driving 132 on the speedometer and this is 129 to 130 GPS. Uh, I just started, I charged to 90%, I drove, what, where are we, 23 kilometers. Um, consumption is high because of the uphill, the first 10 kilometers. My heat is at 25 degrees. I said it in the other video, in this car, 25 degrees is not warm. <laughs> so it is okay in here, but it's not hot. I'm already at 76%. That was fast after 24 kilometers. Uh, it's busy, but I can drive above 120. I didn't have to stop behind a truck so far, but it's very busy, a lot of cars. I am at 65% and drove 48 kilometers. That would mean uh, 96, <laughs> uh, 192, 192 kilometers full. If this will be uh, continuing like this, because I started at 90%, 65 means I have used 25% uh, so far. Uh, by the way, it's 0 0.5 degrees outside. Um, I turned down the fan for the heat, but still at 25 degrees. I put it at 24 and thought it would be okay, but it's not. It's getting a bit too cold, a bit too chilly in here. Yeah, I've seen that on the other side, uh, 20 kilom kilometers before the, my Georgia, where we go back, there's a traffic jam. Um, a lot of trucks want to go off uh, a certain exit and there's a, a light, a traffic light, and then it's all uh, traffic jam for four or five kilometers that I've seen. So it's possible that we have to stop uh, or, or, I don't know, guess <laughs> stuff at the end. We'll see.
I'm at 40% and I drove 79 kilometers, that's 194 kilometers of range. So it's pretty consistent, 192 before and now 194. That's totally fine. I like that when stuff is consistent. Consumption is still around 250 watt hours per kilometer. Average speed, it says here 120. Important, this continues when you stop. So when you charge and have the car on, the average speed and the, the time still goes on and the average speed goes down. That's just how it is, it's fine. But from 90 to 40%, 50% are used. Like I said, 194 kilometers. Uh, Android Auto says, or Google Maps, that it's not a traffic jam anymore, but it's orange. It should take me 38 minutes, 54 kilometers back. Uh, car says I have 87 kilometers of range. That's 33 kilometers of margin. Arrived with 15%, drove 82 kil uh, minutes, 153 kilometers, consumption 236 watt hours per kilometer. Yeah, I arrived. Uh, I will do a charging test now. So the range, what I, it's it's hard to put that stuff in because the numbers are weird since the last quarter of it I was driving 50 to 100 not the 132 that's why the average speed is very low I will put here the numbers if I take everything that the car says and that really happened <laughs> and uh, the kilometers also the range but I think at 130 if I could have driven the whole way back and forth and I, what I have seen with driving it uh, a few days ago 450 kilometers the state of charge is pretty linear it's, v it's very good um, and i think it would have been let's say 200 kilometers because we're nice but uh, most likely uh, 195 or something like this but even before my average speed wasn't that amazing um, let's be nice and say 200 kilometers that you can do in the winter at around zero degrees with 17 inch wheels I have to take a picture so I know exactly the dimension so you know and uh, winter tires and the heat on um, I have the heat on now on full right now um, that's one of the things we're gonna talk about in a second um, um, what the car does because I want to get it under 10% for the charging test. I'm getting 77 kilowatt, woohoo! <laughs> I started at 9%. That's the highest I've ever, 78! Oh my God, that's the highest I've ever been before. The highest I've seen was 69 kilowatt, but only 358 volt. And the voltage doesn't go up even at 86. What was it? Wasn't it 370 or so? Interesting. 80 kilowatt. <laughs> uh, at 15 percent let's see if it really goes up to 90 i've never seen that uh, when i charged before i started at 17 percent and like i said i got 69 even though i did the pre battery preheating 81 kilowatt strike <laughs> let's talk about the little things that i have noticed in this car I, I talked in the last video what is missing in the car the features no reversing camera no uh, parking sensors in the front, uh, no navigation system, the, you have to do a manual uh, rear view mirror, the side mirrors don't fold in, I don't think they're heated. Um, what else is missing? No mirrors in the front, so vanity mirrors, no light there, no light in the rear, no scheduled climate, so you cannot preheat the car at a certain time. You can do it with the app. Um, you can also preheat the battery with the app, not in the car, and you can only do, uh, do uh, charge limit also in the app, not in the car. But when you preheat the car with the app, it can only do it for 10 minutes. Then you can do it again. I tried it a third time and then it said you said you send too many requests to the car. Now you have to get to go to the car and unlock it. So I can only do it twice. You can see the interior temperature of the car. That's interesting in the app. 
83 kilowatt. <laughs> Very interesting is when you preheat the car, the lights turn on. <laughs> <laughs> I find it very funny. Also, when you when you uh, turn on the lights, uh, not in auto, so let's see it's foggy, it's raining and the auto lights don't turn on and then you do it uh, uh, manually, the lights stay on even when you lock the car. <laughs> Like I said, when you change the temperature of the climate, AC turns automatically on. Um, you have one pedal driving and I'm not sure if it uses only the motor or if the friction brakes are with it because it's way more region than normal. Um, but you cannot use it when you are above a state of charge of 80%, then you cannot turn it on, it gives you an error message. The light is pretty okay, the high beams are pretty centered in the middle, uh, not very wide, but it's okay. All the high beams uh, you can use very well. Uh, the sound system is pretty good for my music, metal and, and rock. So mostly metal, so just metal. <laughs> uh, it sounds pretty good, pretty neutral, good bass, not enormous horrible bass I don't like uh, it sounds pretty good I'm, I'm very happy with it only speakers in the front I think um, I don't know about Apple CarPlay but but Android Auto every time you plug it in it connects and it connects very well way better than in my ID3 for example but when you turn off the car and come back in you have to uh, attach it again it doesn't recognize the phone uh, by itself also very cute uh, when you open the car, the car doesn't turn on. When you then step on the brake or, or, or you sit down, it turns on. And then when you get out of the car, it just stays on. Music, fan, heating, wipers, everything turn, uh, stays on. And when you come home from work and you get out of the car, there's no start-stop button, and you get something out of the trunk and you need your five minutes and this whole time the heat, radio, wipers everything is on what i find sad is that this car can only do one phase ac charging um, at home with my 11 kilowatt three phase charger i only get three kilowatt of charging you see the car has a few things that are very interesting and quirky um, but uh, like i said it's missing a few very important features that i think should be in there but it's all software related um, like i said preheating and, and charge limit in the car, something like this. Um, driving is totally fine. Uh, also, what, what I said in the other video that the self-steering is horrible, that's a software update and then it could be better. Same with how the adaptive cruise control works. It, it's not very smooth. Again, can be adjusted by software. So if there's a few, there are a few software updates for this car, it could, can just get better. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.